I'm gonna show you the only three lenses you need for your Canon C70. I've been using the C70 for over five months now, and at first I really struggled with figuring out what lenses I wanted to pair with this beast of a camera. I kept going back and forth on whether I wanted to invest solely in RF lenses or combine EF with the speed booster. It was all just a little overwhelming for me, and I didn't really know what to do. I ended up coming to a solution with three lenses that cover all of the ranges I need for my live event workflow. So let's get into my first lens, which is the EF 16 to 35 f 2.8 mark II. so i was essentially deciding between this and the rf 15 to 35 f 2.8 and i definitely had a lot of indecision about this however i decided that i realized i needed this ef version for the capability of combining it with the speed booster this combination with the speed booster will let me get 16 millimeters on the wide end whereas the rf 15 to 35 would have a 1.5 crop on the c70 so it would only be a 24 on the widest in my opinion, it would not be worth it to spend over two grand on a wide angle lens that would not even be that wide when cropped on the C70. Um, so this ended up being the perfect option for me. A couple things that almost made me get the RF one were the quieter and faster autofocus, as well as the image stabilization. However, I just could not justify that considering the crop factor like I mentioned. In my opinion, I have not had any issues with the lack of stabilization in this lens. It's wide enough where the micro jitters are not that bad, and the autofocus speed and noise has not been that bad for me either. Realistically, I think this is really the only good option if you want a true wide angle zoom lens. So I would definitely consider checking this lens out and you can save some money from the RF version as well. So next is my RF 24 to 70 f 2.8. Um, and that is on my lens right now. So this is my most recent purchase and it was the hardest decision I've had to make for this camera. I had so many different great options for this mid-range zoom range. I was deciding between this lens, the RF 24-105, the EF 24-70, and the EF 24-105, as well as a couple of the Sigma lenses. I settled on this for a couple reasons. First of all, this lens is tight enough, especially when cropped, that I decided I needed the image stabilization. The micro jitters were just too bad paired with a lens of this focal range and it was kind Kind of unusable especially considering the lack of ibis in the c70 other factors such as the sharpness autofocus speed and quietness all just kind of factored into making me realize i needed this lens and it has certainly not disappointed it has been super reliable as this mid-range zoom which i end up keeping on my camera a lot for live events so i can capture everything from a wide angle to pretty tight in the other thing that i was thinking about with this lens is that it was not going to get that wide on the wide end because as a 24 to 70 cropped on the c70 it was basically a 35 millimeter on the wide end this is definitely not ideal however considering i have my ef 16 to 35 i know i can always put that on my camera instead if i need a wider field of view i actually do have mixed feelings about using a mid-range zoom like this so often i would honestly prefer to do a wider angle or a tighter angle um, just to get more unique shots as i kind of think that this mid-range zoom is a little boring however the reality of a lot of my works is that i need this super versatile range so the 35 to 105 equivalent range on the crop factor actually helps me out a lot and then to round out the trilogy i have the ef 70 to 200 f 2.8 mark 3 this lens has been phenomenal paired with the c70 i've had it for over three years now and it is still a beast it has image stabilization is tack sharp and it is built like a tank however the biggest reason i love it is that when i adapt it to my c70 using the normal adapter i get a 100 to 300 millimeter field of view this has been game changing for filming field sports such as soccer or football where i need that extra range and then for sports where I don't need that extra range, like say for basketball, I can throw it on the speed booster and get the extra stop of light while getting the full frame field of view of a 70 to 200. This versatility just made it a no brainer. And since I already owned it, I was certainly not gonna upgrade to the RF version. I should note that I also have a RF 35 millimeter 1.8. However, I don't use this on my C70 at all. And I basically always keep it on my R6 for gimbal use or for taking photos. So overall, these lenses cover everything from 16 millimeters to 300 millimeters. Um, it's gonna be very hard for me to justify buying any other lenses because this is kind of all of the ranges I need. Um, obviously, I would love to use primes or anamorphic lenses or all these other cool lenses, but the reality is for my workflow of covering live events and sports that these are the most versatile options for me. So I hope this overview kind of helped. I know I definitely struggled a lot with indecision when I first got this camera. If you guys have any questions about my experience with these lenses or anything else regarding this camera, please let me know in the comments. Please consider subscribing to see more helpful videos like this, and thank you guys for watching.